Welcome everyone to today's Empyrean Workshop Showcase. Join me as we leap into the Bullfrog cargo ship. So today's design is aptly named the Bullfrog Cargo Ship, and it is an unlock level 20 size class 3 capital vessel coming to us from Creator Siege. The Bullfrog is a freighter ship and named because of its resemblance to a Bullfrog. This one is already doing pretty well on the workshop and caught my attention because of its unique design. Starting at the front of the ship, on the lowest level we have the Hover Vessel Hangar Bay and Cargo Bay. With the theme of this being a cargo ship, it's obviously meant more for picking up and transporting cargo, which is why you have a very large cargo hold here with a lot of cargo boxes along the walls. We also have two advanced constructors and five more cargo boxes at the back of this area. Now taking the elevator on either side of this room, you will go up to another section of the ship, first passing by a window looking into the engineering area, followed by coming up to the second level where you will first find access into the crew quarters rooms. Both sides of the ship will have crew quarters that you pass by first when you come up to this level and then passing down into the middle of this area, you will find your fridge, food processor, a nice kitchen area, a dinner table, as well as a repair station, armor locker, and O2 station right here where you can look down through the glass floor into the hangar bay area. Facing towards the front of the ship, you will see two enclosed areas. Each of these is accessible by a door on the side. On one side, you will have your four medical scanners, while the other side will have your medic station, clone chamber, and some bathroom amenities. Taking the hallway between these two areas, you will walk into a forward lounge area where you can relax with your crew and enjoy a nice view out the front of the ship. Towards the back of the ship from this area, we enter into the engineering room where we will have our core, we'll have some decorative displays as well as our warp drive right there and you will see some thrusters, fuel tanks and the like all around the room. Continuing back into the elevator and going up from this area to the top floor, we come into the small vessel hangar area. In here you will find your repair bay module as well as your repair bay control console along with six more cargo boxes in the walls and an O2 station. We also have nice windows along the sides giving you a good view outside the ship. Walking past the cargo boxes on either side you will pass through a doorway into the bridge area where we have a pilot seat as well as two passenger seats and of course our necessary decorative displays. Once again this is the Bullfrog cargo ship and it is an unlock level 20 size class 3 capital vessel. It comes with 12 fuel tanks for a total capacity of 72,000 fuel and with thrusters and weapons turned off everything just sitting still, I have over 83 hours of use. Turning on weapons and thrusters though drops this right down to just under 33 hours of use. It comes with 3 oxygen tanks for a capacity of 6,000 O2 and needs just shy 2,000 O2 to fill it up. It has six ventilators for the different sections as well as the two oxygen stations, one medic station and one clone chamber. In regards to weaponry, this only carries three retractable cannon turrets. It does however carry a total of 52 cargo boxes living up to the name of being a cargo ship as well as two ammo boxes. It also has the one fridge, one food processor and two advanced constructors. As expected to build this, the most expensive items are going to be of course the Sathium and Iron because of the armor blocks, but you will also need a fair amount of Neodymium, Cobalt, Arrestrum, and Zascosium. In terms of using this from your starting planet, I think the Arrestrum and Zascosium will be the most difficult parts to get. It is also notable that there are no grow plots in this at all. Now when it comes to the ship, the main thing for me is the look of it. The appearance is great, it's definitely a departure from what we see most of the time with ships. And while I think from an aesthetic standpoint it would work better with the landing gear embedded into the feet of the design, rather than just underneath the belly as it is, it does provide an advantage by having the landing gear in the middle so you don't have to worry about finding a larger landing pad on a base. When it comes to gameplay usage though, this definitely has pros and cons. It follows the theme of being a cargo ship with a ton of cargo storage and just a little bit of production to get you going. 
basically meaning that you use this to fly to a planet, grab supplies, and bring them back somewhere else. Assuming the planet you're going to is fairly safe, you're not going to need much more than the cannon turrets that it already has. However, because of the restriction to the three cannon turrets, this is definitely not meant for heavier combat. And of course, with some of the glass placement in the design, I don't see this being very good for PvP. Now, the small vessel pad does have a larger hangar bay door on it. However, it is still a bit limited in what size small vessels you'll be able to put in there. Since the repair bay module is in the small vessel docking pad area, it's only going to be usable for repairing your small vessels unless you want to move it down into the hover vessel hangar. This makes me feel this is much more meant for having a small vessel for combat purposes, such as a fighter style vessel, and then the hover vessel being more for harvesting resources and of course captured POIs. But more so, this falls to me into the category of being just a theme type ship, where if you're a player who likes to put yourself into the persona of being a captain of a fleet, you can tell your crew member to, hey, grab that ship, go to this planet and get resources from the mining operation we have there and then bring them back. So once again, this is the Bullfrog Cargo Ship by Creator Siege, and if you're interested in trying out the design, I will have a link in the description below. If you try it out and like it, be sure to leave Siege a thumbs up and a nice comment on the workshop page. Well, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.